Hey, what's up you guys? We are out here at Camelback Golf Course. I am with Kyle Mays, but you may know him as the Carpenter Guys. is going to teach me today how to hit his famous sniper shot. It is so windy today, as you can see, but we're gonna try and make it work. Hope you guys love it. Let's go. All right, so here we have Kyle Mays. Thank you, Kyle, for coming out here with me today. Howdy. All right, Kyle, can you explain the sniper shot and how to hit the sniper shot? It's your famous shot on Instagram. Okay, so first off, let's explain a sniper shot versus a stinger shot. So the sniper shot, what you're talking about, is actually a shot that's on Instagram, pretty much only for Instagram. <laughs> it's more for entertainment purposes. The stinger is an actual shot that people use in a golf tournament as Tiger Woods did. So back in the day, I created this sniper shot where we would take the camera, just like what we have in our hand right there, zoom in just a little bit and see the ball take off. And that's kind of what I'm gonna show you how to do today. Okay, so you think that there is hope for me today on hitting the sniper? Oh. I, I give you a little bit of hope. I give you a little bit of hope. It was delayed, you guys. Delayed. I give you a little bit of hope. It's, all right. It's all not right. An easy shot. <laughs> all right. Well, we're going to go try it. Come with us. We'll find out real soon. Come on. Come, <laughs> Come with on. us. Come with us. <laughs> How low do you think you can hit it? How low can I go? How low can you go? I think I'm gonna go pretty low. Okay, so the best way in my suggestion, you set up the camera right over there, right? Yep. So we're at a very, what do you think that is? 30, 30 yards or so? Yeah. So the camera's 30 yards away. We're talking into this phone right now. So if you're trying to set this up, that's what you need to do. Take your camera, zoom all the way in, get the focus on us and now you got your sniper set up, okay? So this is the first step there. So there is a little trick to it. It's not just a cool shot, it's a cool frame It's a cool frame, well. exactly. Step number two, so you saw what it looks like through the camera lens right there, right? Yes. So you have to visualize that when you're trying to hit this shot right here. So I see the background, you have about the top of the trees that you want to keep that ball in. So when you're trying to hit this shot, you want to visualize trying to keep it underneath the tree ice right there. Step number two. Visualization. Visualization. Step number three, like I said, you gotta have a forward shaft lane. So coming into the ball this way, whereas this was square right there, that's about as much forward shaft lane as you can do, right? If you're going any more than that, the ball will go into the ground, right? Right. So we need it about right here coming into impact. All right, let's do it. Okay. So first, Haley, I want you to find the, the center of the stance. Okay, so that's gonna be about as far as back as you want the ball to go. People think that you have to put the ball in the back of your stance. It's not necessarily true. It's just the path that you come into the ball. So we talked about having that forward shaft lean into the ball, right? Yep. So that's what you wanna feel like and you wanna be releasing the bottom half of your, your body as you would at impact, right? Like this. Yeah. Okay, so what I want you to also do though, as we talked about before, is pretend like somebody has a hand right here, okay? So that's gonna keep you in your spine angle. And that's gonna be what shallows out the club coming into the ball. With that information, let's see what you got. Okay, high right, hot fly out to the right. Base runner is gonna be out. We got one out, folks. So what you did there, you came into the ball trying to get that forward shaft lean, right? What'd you not do? Keep the shit, exactly. So we want all your momentum going forward but the head feel like you're being right here, exactly. And then as you're coming into impact right here, you wanna release the club into the ground, into the ball. So it's a forward shaft, exactly, exactly. So you're continuing the club through the hit, hitting zone, not pulling this way and leaving the club face open. Does that make sense? Okay, let's try it again. 
All right, that was better. More down the line, underneath the trees. Oh, that was better. Still out to the right just a little bit. Stay in that position right there. Put your feet completely together right here. We're gonna get this ball even lower, okay? So I want you to try to hit it as low as you can with your feet completely together right here, okay? This is for the gram. The bees love the gram. Woo, look at that low one. Smaller stance to get this ball a little lower. Oh, and there's one sniper right there. That had to look pretty cool on the gram right there. <laughs> so why do you think you are having an easier time with your feet cl closer together? Because I'm not able to sway as much. I have to stay still in order to balance. Otherwise, I'm going to fall off balance. Absolutely correct. So good drill for you guys at home right there. All right, folks, look at this. We got a stinger. We got a sniper queen on the loose. What do you think, Haley? That was so fun. Let's do it again. for coming out here teaching me the sniper we're gonna keep hitting some shots because i'm pretty excited about it now i feel like i just learned something brand new so i hope all of you guys enjoyed this <laughs> thank you kyle